We, we missed some easy shots early in the game. Uh, we put them on the line way too many times. And uh, I think that um, you know Fred came in, made a good impact on defense, and that's something that we need her to continue to do. So overall, I, I thought defensively, I think we're about where we need to be uh, now that we're rebounding better. But offensively, I think we can play better. Can you talk about that, that 17-0 run in the first half? Is what was kicking in there for you? You know, we got some transition baskets. I think we got some steals, and uh, and we were able to, to look inside. I thought we got really good looks um, around the basket. We weren't hitting our threes today, and uh, and so we had to really put it on the floor a little bit and drive the ball, and, and I thought we did that effectively. Skyler, can you talk about, from the guard's perspective, what you guys did to kind of throw off Purdue's backcourt? They had some trouble getting the balls on the floor or half court. What you guys did defensively? I think it was our press. I mean, we really tried to... Um, you know, put pressure on them um, early, and we know that they're very quick guards, so we we're trying to get an early trap and rotate and just make them take some time off the clock. And um, really just coming in, and we went re or five uh, matchup, just matching up full court man. Um, we tried to face guard and do some different things there, some running jumps and things like that, just really putting pressure on the ball. Thought we had good rotation, and, um, but really it's hard to throw a pass over Dev, so we tried to make them dribble out of it and then um, contain it. You, you had talked about Purdue's uh, physical play inside and rebounding as a concern. How were you able to get the kind of rebounding production you did today? <clears throat> they are a really physical team and a, and a very good defensive team. So I thought that Devro did an outstanding job. Um, overall, I thought our box outs were a little better. I mean, we worked a little bit harder defensively on the box outs. Offensively, we, um, you know, we didn't do quite as well. I think we could. Uh, we can probably rebound a little bit more offensively, but but overall, um, I think we 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 beat them to some balls. Uh, I thought our posts were a little quicker, and that that really helped us. Yeah. And the guards came in and rebound. Sky had six, and that's that's what we need to do. Was it a strategy change or an attitude change that affected you? I think it's attitude. Uh, I think that um, you know we're trying to track down the loose balls with the guards and trying to put them in a little different position than they've been in, and just trying to get everybody to get into the the box out, and that, that's something that we've really been working on quite a bit. Devereaux, can you talk about that? Early in the first half, this your ball movement. Do you feel like that put them out of sync on defense and allowed some openings inside for you? Yeah, we definitely worked on the stuff um, we had in practice. We talked about a lot about executing how we haven't been doing that lately. And the stuff we wanted to run for pra in practice, uh, we did in the game. And we moved the ball around a lot on the outside. We looked high low a lot. And we were getting open shots inside off of that. And, um, that open shots up for the guards as well. So I think we got inside early and um, we missed a few off the bat, but they kept looking for us. So we hit a few and then they started hitting their jumpers. Coach, you said that you uh, slowed down Brittany and you did. How exactly did you do it? Uh, Brittany Mallory is our lead defensive guard and she is um, she's incredibly disciplined and determined. She fights screens really well. We got some help at times when we needed it, but overall, she just uh, guarded her one-on-one -on -one and did a really good job of taking away the three. And uh, she guards the other team's best guard. Everybody we play, and uh, she's she was our best defensive player last year. Coach, you talked about how tough it is to play here and how tough the series with Purdue is. Can you talk about just what a game like this in this building means to you and the program? It's a great rivalry. You know, it's it's been a great rivalry since I came to Notre Dame, and uh, we've we've had some so many great games with Purdue. It's a program that we really respect in the state, and um, so coming out with a win, this is one of the biggest margins of victory. I'm guessing. I, I don't know, um, but it just seemed like we had uh, we really really played well. I think we were really ready for the game. I think we've been playing well. Um, our intensity's been really good, and so we came out and. Um, really. And I think just this win, it's a its a great win for us. We're a ranked team on the road, it, big things for the NCAA tournament. Um, they're coming off a win against Texas A&M, a team that we uh, were happy to <laughs> see. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so, um, you know, we, we, uh, we wanted to make a statement about that too. Coach, you obviously had a run through the tournament last year, produced play consecutive top 10 opponents. What is that like for a team to go through that? What do you learn through that process? You really learn a lot about your team. Uh, you know, I think it's great to schedule good teams like that. 
um, to go on the road to Duke and then have Texas A&M here, I, I think you, it, it really helps your team. They're a pretty young team overall. Um, and, and I think that the way they're playing is they're going to win a lot of games. And um, I think when you play teams like that, it makes the rest, you know, preparing for the Big Ten easier because you've played a, a high caliber opponent and now you're, you're really ready for anybody. Natalie, can you talk a little bit about how important it is to have a performance like this now that you've got a week off and then you've got number 10 from Taiki coming up? Right, we knew going into this game was a you know a tough game, right? Four finals, a lot, of, a lot of things are going on, but we just had to buckle down and um, you know just get it done and have it going into finals, and then lead right into Kentucky. We're just going to keep our um, momentum going and um, practice hard this week, and uh, do what we need to do.